anyway, moving on. So let's jump into some topics. First topic I want to talk about, of course, is the stuff going on with fucking Joe Budden. Joe Budden is the king of content over everything. And I guess for some reason he decided he wanted to start a beef with Aiden Ross, Case, um, Kai Sinat and a few other streamers because those streamers had the opinion that they thought that, Tor sorry, um, what's his name? Travis Scott should have won album of the year or rap album of the year over Killer Mike because they all enjoyed Utopia. Personally, I think that's an incorrect opinion. I think Utopia is probably one of Travis Scott's worst albums. It's not that great, to be honest. There's a couple of good singles on there or a couple of good songs and tracks, but I think overall it was a pretty forgetful album. It didn't really resonate the way um, people think it did. But obviously, if you're basing things on like statistics, like streams and stuff, then maybe Travis should have won because that album streamed really well, had loads of big tracks on it, blah, 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 blah. Well, um, Joe Budden didn't agree and used that opportunity to kind of, you know, dunk on the kids and remind them that real music sometimes is more important than, I guess, the stuff that they like. And it obviously didn't end the greatest for him because they all clapped back. So I'm going to play the whole sequence of events um, from Joe Budden talking to Aiden Ross replying, Kai Sinat replying, and then I also play, I also read you the response from Killer Mike that was very grown up and very refreshing. So let's um, play all the clips for you so you can see what happened here. Um, I'll play, try and play them back to back for you. Let's see what we can do. All that fucking Travis crying. Him, they, they robbed me 10 times or something he said. Well, he said listen that, to yeah. this guy. Calm the fuck down. Everybody calm the fuck down. This is a young niggas. I don't niggas. know who this is, okay? Egg brother, God bless you. Congratulations. <laughs> Kai Sinat? I don't know who yeah. you are. Niggas. Positivity you, praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. <laughs> who, who decided this motherfucker? <laughs> who the fuck decided this motherfucker? Her loss? Utopia? <laughs> yes, nigga. Yeah, neither of those are better than Yes. Michael. Over Utopia. Metro Boomy! Shut your ass up, no, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Yo, y'all little streamer niggas don't always run shit. Also, just as a minor note, I despise Joe Budden's chains, his necklace, his bracelet. I despise them. He looks like such a donut. For somebody as old as him to be flossing those kind of jewelry bits, is, it, it's screaming new money. It's screaming, I'm not used to being here. Do you know what I mean? It's so gaudy, so trashy. Yuck. I'm not a fan of it at all. Shut the fuck up. That, that's the Some people don't give too. a fuck about your numbers. Yeah, 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 we don't care about none of that little streamy mosh pit uh marked card whatever you niggas is doing over there and hey, let's keep it a buck the parks you said it and also ice might have some of the worst dressings in the world ice also must have might have some of the worst tasting trainers i've ever seen in my entire life i don't think you'll ever see anybody wearing i think they're reeboks pump furies or something i don't think you're ever going to see anybody willingly who has money would willingly buy those, those those fucking Reeboks. I'm happy he stopped dyeing his beard because for a moment he was dyeing his beard for various reasons. Some people are speculating that he was dyeing his beard because he has a he has an Instagram baddie girlfriend who's maybe a bit more younger than him. So he's trying to compete with all the young bucks that may be sliding into his girl's DMs. I'm happy he stopped applying all that shoe polish on his beard. But this guy's taste in trainers and clothes is beyond repulsive. Utopia was mid, yo. Yeah. You didn't deserve to win. I'll say it. Fuck that. You fucking Topia. That shit was ass. You Nopia, nigga. <laughs> that nigga's just crazy. That shit was, man. I, I'm, with you. I'm just moment, so happy, happy that the streamer, yeah. that, the, that, these, that the little fuckity fucks finally, finally have a look in the mirror moment and say, oh, oh it's not about us. That's hate, in it? That's pure and utter hate from fucking Joe Budden. He is literally the consumer hater. And it's different because when he's, when you're successful, people don't look at you like that if you're successful because obviously he's done really well with himself for himself with a podcast. He's got probably one of the number one urban slash hip-hop podcasts out there. So he does really well in that regard. But when you actually analyse the things that he says and how he talks about certain things and the place he comes from, he is a deep down certified, bona fide, legit, legit hater. No! Adults are out, nigga! Yeah. So go with Niggas me. got pocket pocket uh handkerchief set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas got fly shit on. Musicians, go, musicians good, are out. Yeah, real execs, business people, you little fuckity fucks. Shut up for a change. So sick of these so niggas. So jealous. We only get to do this once a year. When, listen, we gotta rush behind Killer Mike. Killer Mike one. <laughs> yeah, we gotta yeah. let these niggas know what the fuck we really think. You know what's funny? Somebody actually put out a clip of Joe Budden actually praising Utopia, Travis Scott's album. 
there's a clip going around where some, I think from the Joe Budden Reddit, people found a clip of Joe Budden actually praising Utopia. So imagine, imagine the fucking heel turn. He won and ain't sit down with a single streamer. Little motherfucker. <laughs> it works. That works. Not, not one of you not niggas. One. Niggas like, who? Yeah, him. We knew who he was. Yeah, we respect you. Yo, oh, shit, they broke the whole console. Oh, they smashed everything. Yo, we feel that. Yo, we feel that. But niggas is getting dressed and bringing women out tonight. All you fucking incels. And the bass player. Imagine thinking... The, the ladies are coming out for Killer Mike. Don't get me wrong. I like Killer Mike as a person. Cool, you know, guy. As a rapper, probably not for me. I probably prefer him in Run The Jewels. But think, imagine thinking the ladies are going to be dancing to Killer Mike. That's absolutely insane. But that was Joe Budden obviously hating on all the streamers, um, hating on Travis Scott by proxy, and obviously just being a consummate H-A-T-E-R, as we all know him to be. But the response has been funny. Let's play the response from Aiden Ross. The response from Aiden Ross was absolutely hilarious, actually. Um because it was very disrespectful, <laughs> as was the Kai scene at one. They flex on him, they dunked on him, they let their nuts hang on his head because Joe, obviously, is somebody that, you know, ob obsesses over money and all that sort of stuff. So they just reminded him that, hey, we are the guys. Do you know what I mean? We are the guys. And I'm going to be interested to see how he replies to it because they really did let their nuts hang all over his face. So let me get the video up for you so you can see exactly what was going on here because I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Let's play this. This is um, Aiden Ross replying. Actually, this is going to be quite funny. You're gonna you're gonna love this. Who said it? You told me it was mid, yo. Yeah. You didn't deserve to win. Man, Joe Biden. Every single time that I see you or a clip of you, it's just some, on some hating shit, bro. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't know what you do. I, I can't even name one Joe Biden song respectfully. I know you used to rap. <laughs> I'm gonna just be the honest <laughs> shit, bro. Like you're one of these old that just hate. Why can't you be more like Rick Ross or Snoop Dogg? The OGs that are cool as fuck and just like respect and, and show flowers and appreciation towards all the young motherfuckers and shit. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You have no room to talk, no room to speak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, lay, 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 your, uh, lay your opinions about me and Kai to ourselves. Me and Kai are 10 times more richer than you and you will ever be. Oh, yeah. Old man. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're more humble than you and we're nicer than you. Uh, you're, you're obviously a very salty old man. That's a bit of an oxymoron, right? We're much richer than you, but we're way more humble. <laughs> Bit of an oxymoron there, but I'll let him rock. Uh, you have nothing going on for yourself. Uh, so you try to now hate on the young motherfuckers that are more successful than you. Um, listen, man, uh, I know you're getting old and you got to pay your bills and shit. Because uh, Social Security's coming up and your check's probably not going to be looking <laughs> too good. So you got to make some money uh, now. Talk about streamers and shit. But hey, bro. Streamers are the new, uh, new, new. You know, we're, we're we're lit. We're pretty good. We're doing pretty good. So, how to cook your old ass? Uh, enjoy retirement soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna just see what else you got to say. Uh, oh, hold on, chat. Yeah, we don't care about none of that. Shut up for a change. I'm so sick of these niggas. Yo, yo, Joe Biden. Let's have a race who hits 100 million dollars first in our bank accounts. We uh -oh. can, if you want to do a side bet, we can. Let, let, let's lock money. Yo, Joe Biden. Let me know if you want to do that, bro. Let me know if you want to do that, bro. I'm going to be the first motherfucker that hits $100 million in my industry. Let's see where you're at. That's a big bet. <laughs> we can release this shit to the public. I don't give a fuck. Let me know what you want to do, bro. Let me know what the fuck you're trying to do, Joe Budden. Let me know what you're trying to do. Because I know all you old heads just give a fuck about money and shit, right? So I'm going to show you money, motherfucker. Real money. That's a really good point, though, isn't it? They all, all they really do care about is money. The old heads. That's where most of their respect comes from. If you get money... If you're able to feed your family, as they all say, right? <laughs> if you're able to put some money in people's pockets, that's all they care about. They don't care about whether or not you're a nice person, whether or not you fucking, you know, do right by your community, blah, blah, blah. The strength of your character. Nah, it's just about the money in your pocket. If your bank account number's high, they rate you. Weird. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Fuck that old head. Kai, speed, that's why we're on top. Fuck what they're talking about. Oh, yeah. Fuck this old ass motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Respectfully, I'm a shit on you, bro. Oh, yeah. But, chat, we still respect the OGs and respect the elders. But I'm not gonna let this broke, hating ass bitch talk shit about me and my brothers. Humble? I, you guys know me if you watch on a daily basis. I am very humble. I don't ever flex or talk shit to motherfuckers unless they need. Apart from the, you know, the constant buying of the APs, I think he's got a couple of nice ones. He's got like a tip, like a blue one or something. Apart from buying some nice APs and driving a cyber truck and a Lamborghini truck and, you know, no flexing. That's not flexing. I love how for kids this this age who are that rich, they don't think buying multiple APs is flexing. Probably buying an AP to them is like buying a Casio. 
driving a cyber truck is like getting a fucking a Ford. It's not that big of a deal. I love it. We talk shit or flex on. I worked very hard to be where I'm at today. Okay, I worked very hard to be where I'm at today. I built a core community. Motherfuckers that love and care for me would die for me. I, I've never met a Joe Budden fan in my entire life. This hating ass, old ass motherfucker. <laughs> Everyone can say that though, and I love that bar. Everyone does that to Joe. I've never met a Joe Biden fan in their life, but then you know Joe Biden is what nearly fifty years old, so it makes sense. But I love how that bar can always work. I've never met a Joe Biden fan in their life because I have to be honest, I was a fan of Joe Biden before. Obviously, I kind of fell out of love with the podcast stuff after the Rory and Moore split because it kind of showed his true colors. And I couldn't listen to it anymore, but he's you know decent enough rapper and put out some okay music. But I can't remember a time where I ever actually bumped into a Joe Biden fan. I don't know, honestly. I've bumped into people in the UK who like Big L. I bumped into the people who like Mace. I bumped into people in, in London who like Jim Jones, who like Max B, who like Mac Dre, who like Space Ghost Perp. Like I've met, I bumped into people who like all these obscure rappers, but I've never bumped into anybody in the UK who says they like fucking Joe Biden. That's how crazy it is. Straight up. Who the fuck is this? Yes, sir, did you got the PS5 working? Uh, the HTTP, the one we had enabled, was off when we needed to try. So. Die? Hell yeah. Chat, I would die for y'all. Would y'all die for me? Hopefully this shit works. <laughs> no? Oh, oh, I lost you guys there. Okay, cool. That's uh, Aiden Ross giving Joe Budden the business. And then we're going to see Kai Sinat's response. He gets a little bit more flagrant, actually. I think he gets a little bit more, a little bit more vocal in his um, disagreement with what Joe Budden says. It's a pretty funny one, actually. Um, he doesn't really have it either. He goes really crazy on flipping Joe. He's like, "Nah, man, you can't be talking about me like that and my streamer buddies. You get me? Obviously not in that accent because he's not from here. He's from New York, I think, right? Casino. I think it's from New York. Let's see Kaisen's response. It's going to talk a million miles per hour because they all do that. That's why I would laugh sometimes at people on my stream are like, oh, you talk too fast. Are you on speed? Are you been sniffing? Uh. But it's like, these kids talk super fast and I don't think they take Adderall. I don't think, they don't look like druggy kids to me. Big up NJ Ranger. You know what's really not a flex? Sniffing Andrew Tate's seat when he gets up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a good point. That's a, that's a very, very good point. Yeah. That Andrew Tate arc of Aiden Russell is very, very embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then he switched up on him very quickly too. That was also not the greatest. But yeah, he shaved his head in it to be like more like Andrew Tate. It's like sitting like him. Like, ugh. But anyway, Brandon's saying they're all on Adderall. Do you think so? Brandon says they're all on Adderall. I don't know, but they talk incredibly fast. So I don't want to hear anybody in my stream chat complaining about how fast I talk compared to these guys, because this is rapid. Check this out. I'm not familiar with Kevin Mike. I was just saying, I felt like you took me and shit to the world. Bro, why did I feel like, y'all start talking about, y'all start talking about streaming niggas, bro. Stop doing that, bro. Like, we some little niggas, my nigga. I would buy you, my nigga. Do you understand that, bro? Do you understand that, my nigga? Telling, telling another man, telling another black man, actually, during Black History Month that you're gonna that you could buy them, is beyond disrespectful. <laughs> telling another black man during Black History Month that you could literally buy their life, which is probably true, is incredibly disrespectful. Super disrespectful. I could buy you like your ancestors <laughs> and put you to work. You know what I mean? It's just like wow. Okay, man. It's just a musical opinion, bro. You don't have to go that deep. But you always bringing me up, bro. Relax, my nigga. Stop. It's okay. That's the thing, bro. Y'all don't ever like have respect to the old niggas for sure. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Like, like respect to them for sure. The only thing I would say I was wrong at was like not even able to like do my research on Killer Mike and shit like mm. that. But in the moment, if I want to voice my opinion, I'm gonna voice my opinion. I agree. One hundred percent, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And that's some people's problem. Y'all don't ever let the young niggas flourish. Mm. The young niggas think utopia is fire. Let the young niggas think utopia is fire. Exactly, exactly. You f you know what? I'd much rather have young kids talk about Travis Scott like he's Tupac than have young kids pretend they listen to Biggie. Like that's what young kids try and do in hip-hop. They try and pretend like they're into most Def, they're into a tribe called Quest. Come on, man, you're fucking 20. You should, you should think Yeet is the best rapper. You should think, um, you know, 
um, what's his name? Playboy Carti is the best rapper out. You should think that because that's your age range. You shouldn't be trying to appease the old heads and saying that you're into fucking Mob Deep and stuff. Come on, man. You weren't even around when they first released the album. You weren't even born then. Maybe your parents were, but you weren't born then. So I actually do like when the young kids ride super hard for their favorite rappers, whether it's fucking, you know, 6 9 or if it's fucking, um, you know, I don't know, whoever it is, I do like when they ride for them because it shows that at least, at least then you're engaging with the music that's of your age, that's all, all, of your generation, and you've got an interest in it in some regard and you want to debate about it because I think being able to debate, you know, or being able to articulate why you like certain things or being passionate about what you like and talking about it is really important especially nowadays when everybody um can be really quick to tell you what they don't like but they can't really tell you what they do like or what they enjoy that's something i've always kind of hated with people and just in general especially even with it, especially in this like cultural commentary space no one really talks about what they enjoy they always talk about what they hate what they don't like what could be done better it's like okay cool we could all be armchair critics you know and monday morning quarterbacks until the cows come home but tell us something that you actually did enjoy articulate why you liked it why did it resonate with you blah 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 that's actually a better way to kind of go and have some balance but you know what do i know i mean the reason why shit going so crazy right now and you're not being able to comprehend shit is because it's just simply a new a new wave of niggas bro mm. it's just simply a new uh wave of niggas bro and that's what it is shout out shout out to killer mike you feel what i'm saying um Bro, but but look, if I think this should have won that, okay, let it win. Yeah, I agree with him. I agree with him. It's not that deep of an opinion. But again, it's just Joe Budden's intention to say that because he's content over everything. That's part of the reason why I stopped listening to the Joe Budden podcast. Joe Budden has this like COE, content over everything approach, where he basically would just be very loud and bombastic about something he doesn't really truly believe in just for the sake of going viral. Like to just get people to sign up to the Patreon, get people to view the podcast. And it's annoying because... It's just these manufactured outrage portions of the show that don't really mean anything or they go around arguing in circles about some dumb thing. And as a listener, like, you can see through it, especially if you're a fan, you know exactly what they're doing. And it's like, oh, not again, bro. Like, allow it. You know what I mean, just chill. Like, please, please just chill. But hey, I guess that's what they have to do in terms of getting the Patreon numbers up. So I guess you can't knock another man's hustle. But what I did like about this whole thing was Killer Mike's response. So Killer Mike... Um, walked away from the flipping Grammys with loads of Grammys, right? He had a fucking good time. So big up Killer Mike for absolutely smashing it. But his response to all the hoopla around his album winning rap album of the year, maybe some people not think he deserved it, blah, 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 was perfect, especially in relation to Kai Sinek and Aiden Ross's criticism. Perfect response and a very grown up. It's really refreshing to just hear somebody as an adult speak for once, right? So big up the Joe Banner podcast for the screenshot. This is Killer Mike's response. Um, courtesy of this article, I think it's from Complex. He also mentioned kickstreamer Aiden Ross, who was disappointed his favourite rapper didn't win too. Aiden, don't waste all your time arguing with old folks, man. I salute you. I love to see what your young brothers are doing. Mike continued, I invite your audience to listen to the record. I got a warehouse if y'all want to come to the warehouse and we can play that shit live. I've got about, what does it say here? I've got about 15,000 square foot. You can throw a party there, man, or I can come bring my broom to the room. Um, but I appreciate you guys for loving music, period. And I invite you to fuck with mine. You might find something you fuck with. Isn't that the consummate adult response? Isn't that how a grown up speaks? Don't grown up speak like that. Like, hey, I understand your frustration. I get why you're pissed off. But I do, I would love to you to come and check out my music, check out what I have going on. Maybe come to my warehouse and stream. We can hang out and stuff. And I can maybe, you know, we can kick it. Maybe you won't leave a, a killer mic fan, but maybe you just respect me as an artist. Isn't that the great way to kind of go about things? And we don't have that enough. And obviously, the reason why we don't have that is because res measured responses like this don't go viral. That's where sometimes I have to maybe salute and tip my hat to Joe Budden. As much as I hate content over everything, I do understand that sometimes being shouty and being loud and being passionate and ranting and raving will go way more viral than if you just have a measured, grown up, um, you know, reasonable response. People are just not going to react to it the same way. But it's just nice to hear Killer Mike speak like that because he has every reason to shit on those guys and, and you know, let his nuts hang because he did win the Grammy at the end of the day. But he didn't. He chose to go with grace. He chose to lead with, you know, um, humility, actually hum actual humility, and just say, hey, I offer my invitation now that I would love to come out. And I would actually love it. I'd actually love to see Aiden Ross and Kai Sina go to his warehouse and chill 
listen to the music, kick it. Maybe you can shoot some game. Maybe even, maybe Killer Mike could help Aiden Ross with his approach with rappers, with how kind of Playboy Carty played Aiden Ross and stuff and how he nearly got scammed by 21 Savage. Maybe, um, you know, Killer Mike can help kick some game to him and give him some street smarts because with the exception of Kai Cena, Aiden Ross is a little bit, these guys are not the most street smart guys, right? Um, So maybe it's a good idea if they actually do hang out. But I would like to see that. Um, Big up Killer Mike for being a legend um, and big up him for being reasonable and not reacting um, emotionally about what was happening. I do really appreciate that. Big up, big up Killer Mike.